Awesome. How's it going, guys? Hello. Very good. Very good. Nice to see you. Likewise. I uh, I feel like I uh, almost a decade later have to apologize to you, David. We were at a, the Paramount holiday party, and I told you you were going to win an Oscar that year. So I, I, know, <laughs> I know I ruined your year. <laughs> um well i i won i won a version of the oscar i won i won oscar so white so yeah. um uh yeah, <laughs> so but in my defense i wasn't the only one telling you but no 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 you you were not alone you were not alone you're, you're nice changing, to see you again you've changed the way i address this now i always tell people it's looking okay you never know i will never never make declarative statements again um, so, Lesson learned. Yeah, so I'm not going to say anything about this one, but right. I, uh, it's quite good, and I think it's it's just fascinating to watch a short that gets a platform because by by virtue of the the medium, it's a lot harder. You know, you'd think it's easier to convince someone to spend 10, 15 minutes watching something, but it is kind of the the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing to get money for. It's the hardest thing to get talent for, and then to get seen. So, uh, like this on why, why obviously for making a debut, wh why go through the hassle? You know, why, why fight for this? Obviously the work speaks for itself, but for your end, for your mental health, why, why start the process? <laughs> um, well, it, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't really a fight. It was continuing, you know, it's, it, it was an act of self-love, yeah. you know, um, and recognizing, uh, the open wounds that we all have and not being afraid to look in that direction as a filmmaker. Yeah. So it was an extension of building myself back up and in doing so helping others um, recognize their own humanity through uh, this extraordinary performance by David in this little story with a big heart. For sure. I mean, uh, David, you're amazing in it, but I think you're, you're right in saying that it, it is such a, uplifting experience in a way and i think the fact that it is digestible in its length as opposed to a feature where i think some people might just go i don't know that i can spend 90 minutes with what we think it is because obviously it's not exactly what you you think it is but the idea <laughs> of in and out and you have this entire range of emotions mm. in a way i think way more fulfilling because you almost don't realize you've had that many emotions by the time it's over. It's like, it's a great Trojan horse for working out your feelings. Yeah. And that's it. And, you know, I don't know about you, but, but, but uh, I can tell you that, you know, I haven't been the same since 2020, you know, the, the, the act of God, if you will, of COVID and the George Floyd of it all and everything else that's come since has been like living in an episode of black mirror permanently. And, you know, I, it's almost like we don't have the, the right operating system to, take in what what is happening in the world that we exist in um and that's when of course great art um is needed most so you know i i stayed in 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 the in the range of emotion that i'm most comfortable yeah. in which is which is not necessarily light yeah. um but you, you know david and i um have read so many testimonials and it's one thing from you know the the they you know the the the, the critics and people that are in the industry but it's another thing when it's you know a mom in japan yeah. or argentina or a teenage boy in lagos that has had a profoundly um personal experience that has allowed them to ha look within themselves in a way that they don't always do and for me um there is nothing more that i would i would love to have achieved by that alone and of course the netflix of is all, of it all is the reason why so many people have been able to see it um no you're, you're right in covid whatever you know, losing people i lost my mom in january and you know every fourth movie is suddenly about moms you're like why am i crying at the flash like this is dumb mm. but you know it's not dumb it's not dumb brother i think the thing that the movie does so well and is the hardest thing i think to do is is to have just expressions sometimes it's just a look on someone's face and i think there's a really great scene of david just there's no words for what he's going through but you see a complete change in just like the weight that he's carrying and like it just feels like something is adding to your body something is leaving it's a thing that you you sort of you're processing and I, it's it's a great depiction of 
of processing, you know, it, like if I had gotten, like, I got a letter today, I got jury duty for my mom today just now when I got the mail. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, it's kind of darkly funny. Like what happens if you just don't go? Do they arrest the dead person? Let's find mm -hmm. out. But you know, in January, I would have, I would have been, let's say, not happy. So yeah. I think the movie is such a great depiction of, depending mm. on the moment you are in in the process, you're going to have a different reaction, and and even just for you, David, for tackling that, you know, in a, in a span where you don't have the time you would normally have, you know, in a feature, you might be able to go. There's seven or eight scenes where I can make sure I have this sort of path that I'm following. Here, it's one, two, you know, a matter of days. How do you how do you pull it off? Gosh, well, <clears throat> thank you for, for sharing that. I mean, I also lost my both my parents within um, a span of about three to four years. My my mom in 2017, my my dad in 2020. Um, and um, when Missan talks about the film being partly a means of processing his own mental health, I think you know, for me, it, it, it was also an opportunity to not only process something, but be truthful, open, honest, and vulnerable about something that we all go through. I mean, the three people on this Zoom right now, because I know Miss Anne's story as well, we've all dealt with grief not yeah. that long ago. And, and then again, as, as Miss Anne says, there's been this global communal devastating experience that we're all still processing what the heck just happened there yeah. and uh, you used the perfect phrase earlier trojan horse um i think the great thing about a short film is that unlike a feature film where we tend to spend a lot of time telling you what the film is about in order to get you into a movie theater or corral your attention there's something about a short film that means you give it a shot. Sure. And if a few people have said it's worth watching, you go, oh, let me see. It's, it's, it's like tasting an hors d'oeuvre. And, you know, is it, is it, it, it the, the, the value proposition is sort of slightly different. And then through Miss Anne's just remarkable ability to capture images alongside story, character, and humanity, you get served up something that has far more substance than you normally expect or get out of a short film because it's so relatable, because it's so unapologetic, because it's so dense in, in terms of the truth of what it, it is, uh, it is uh, looking at. And, and so, um, so yeah, just, I just feel very, very proud, happy, and, um, and, and really thankful to, to be part of something that is having quite a profound effect on, on people who are watching it because it's something that if you live long enough you will grow go through a version of this uh and it, it's true and i think it works from both sides i think for an audience member you know a short has got to be about what it's about right so even if you're going in with a feature and for an actor when it's a short i'm in it for the thing that i'm in it for right if you're making a feature even if you were pitched on it's a it's a parable about grief it's about whatever it's about still 90 minutes there's going to be a week of your life where you're just like I'm just sitting in a car or I'm just doing set. Like, it's not about the thing that it's about. Right. And that's the same for an audience member. They're, you know, you, you by virtue of, even if you're watching these, these giant superhero movies, oh, it's about Batman. There's all these scenes about something else that like, right, right. you have to worry. And, and with a short, it's never about that. And obviously it's, it's targeting things differently, but I think you see it in the performances. You see it in just how every image is its own, you know, could be a photograph. Shocking. Mm -hmm. It's like you're good at your job. Um, <laughs> but I, I think you just, I imagine on set for both of you, it's just, we don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of money, but we have nothing to do except the thing, the reason we're here. There's not going to be a wasted moment by virtue of like, we can't. So I imagine it's also just fun might be the wrong word because of the weight of it, but it's fulfilling. And you get that sense of like, I did a thing. And, and you know, that's really hard to pull off in this particular medium so i think that alone is probably kind of incredible right yeah i mean we have five days you know uh, <laughs> of, of, of yeah, unpredictable but warm weather in london um to to put all of that there and um not not a huge amount of rehearsal time um but but I, you know I, I always say about david is i feel like um you know uh the the more celestial parts of ourselves have known each other 
before. Um, so he that I was not making this with a stranger. Um, and it's it's odd to say that unless you you know you, you just feel it. Um, and and of course that level of safety allowed me to 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 um to learn quickly and also um I think the rest, you know, all the rest of the performances, what what David was able to get out of these, you know, the the, the young children as well, because they had very difficult roles. Uh, we, we, you know, it was, it was incredible. We, we, you know, lightning in a bottle. Totally, uh, David. I'm sure you've had five days on sets where you've done nothing. You've been like, I got paid to sit here. Like it's great, but also, like I kind of like acting too. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've had five days on movies where I'm home with my kids. Uh, yeah, yeah ab ab absolutely. No, and and that that's what that's what was both attractive and necessitous about the film. Uh, I say necessitous because if I'm totally honest, when when Miss Anne first first approached me about this, I mean, you know, I completely agree with him. Uh, it feels like we've known each other forever and I feel this connection with him that is rare, but we first connected, I think it was in 2021, uh, he DM'd me, um, I had been seeing his photographs that were catching and capturing the Black Lives Matter movement as it was playing out in the UK and, and truly compelled by how each one of them felt like a story in and of themselves. And so when he revealed to me that he wanted to take um those those images that he ha had been creating photographically into a, a new space i.e the moving image with a story uh, he had my attention uh, but when he revealed the nature of the story he wanted to tell i i had pause because i was literally in the wow. process of of grieving my dad who, who had passed away within the year and 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 my mom had a brain aneurysm in in 2014 and so she was in a vegetative state for three years so i had this weird protracted grieving process of her being here but not here and if i'm totally honest my process of grieving her which bled into my process of grieving my dad was incredibly convoluted incredibly confusing still very much something i'm living with i had a similar thing the other day going through my phone just cleaning out contacts that i no longer need and there was my my dad's number and, and you go well I, i'm not deleting that yeah, do you exactly. know what i mean but even the process of just you know and and that's part of where the moment we're singing happy birthday to the photograph cool. in the short came from that wasn't scripted it was just i have a very specific relationship with anniversaries birthdays when good things happen the fact that my parents aren't here to share in that is always this bittersweet thing and and so you know my trepidation was i knew to do this well you would have the job the remit for this is cracking yourself open and letting the world in Mm -hmm. um that's scary that's not comfortable um and, but it was the only way to be of service to the story to miss Anne, to an audience who have their own versions of what dio is going through in the story or will you know um and 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 so um but the fear of it is ultimately what made me run towards it because i do think that's where the best of us lies, you know, is when is when you sort of overcome that fear and 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 do it anyway. And yeah, so that that's that that was my journey towards this. No, you're you're right. I mean, <clears throat> I'm I'm the same. I my phone is inundated with anniversaries and birthdays of exes and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm not gonna get rid of that, even though you're like, I have no use for that. It's it's that hitting delete is. It feels like you're deleting something that there's bad, but there also was good. Same with you know people who are gone in your phone. It is, and I think that's what the, you know, as we wrap up, the movie does so well is it's it's just a moment in time, right? We don't know what's going to happen, but you have this sense of, I've gone through it with this person, and I feel like I knew this person, and I've seen two small moments from their life, and several other, you know, people just coming in and out of the picture. But you have this, this feeling, and I think uh, 
the sun, your 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 shirt kind of says it right. It just has a feeling of love at the end of it. And I think as much as anything else, it, it shows that uh, if you choose, there is a future here for you, uh, a feature, hopefully, because if you can do it, if you can do this much in 15 minutes or, or so, you know, 15, 20 minutes, expanding that out, giving someone like David and, and other actors this much space to to be real and create, but still also find a character. I mean, it's it's something I know I want to see. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that's what happens, because I think this is a. Uh, it's going to be a pretty successful next couple of months. I won't say the other thing, David. <laughs> Learn but, the lesson. Learn yeah. the lesson. <laughs> but if it does happen, just for a second, think about that random guy who said it that one time. Just <laughs> You'll be top of mind. Yes, I, I, I'm never for anyone. It's okay. <laughs> but I well, appreciate if, if, if I If I have anything to do with it, this will definitely not be uh, Miss Anne's first foray into... Uh, into storytelling. I, I, I think he's a magnificent artist, human being. Um, when I tell you um, that the, the, the combination of how much expertise and yet how much humility tied to his newness was coexisting. I mean, you know, there were marks on the floor and Miss Sam would say, oh, oh, I see. oh, that's a mark. Oh, you walk to the mark. And whilst also walk over here. Yeah. Whilst also knowing exactly where to put the camera, exactly what to say to an actor in order to be able to get very complex emotion out of them, not just seasoned actors, but kids who had never done it before very very difficult themes crazy weather locations like all the things the only thing he didn't have to navigate which we tell you not to navigate is animals uh, yeah. every, 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 everything else by way of difficulty was in there uh, and uh, and and boy did he knock it out of the park so very very proud of him and very proud of it for sure uh, but can't tell you can't tell you how much i'm looking forward to that and uh, i hope it happens i mean this is we need we need more storytellers like you, not less. So. Well, it's funny because you know, and and we we wouldn't go in this specific direction if ever um, we we David and I decided to to have a continu continuation of this storyline. But we have had a lot of people saying, "Oh my God, when he drives off, yeah. taken, machine guns, revenge," <laughs> and I'm hey, like, oh, "Oh dear, oh dear." No, I <laughs> like I appreciate that you enjoyed it, but I feel <laughs> I, I feel I'm happy for you that that's your experience. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. That's I couldn't have said it better myself. Exactly. You're like, and then it's the Homer going back into the bushes meme of just like I. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Fantastic. But, you know, um, I think we all know that there'll be there'll be more than one exec in the industry that probably be very excited about that idea. <laughs> oh yeah, no, your your meeting next week is going to be about uh, someone with a cape or someone with a gun. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say <Family>. no more. <laughs> exactly. Nice to be wanted. Uh, but thank you guys for doing this. It's a it's a pleasure, and I think it's the type of thing that people should want to check out. It shouldn't feel like work. It should feel like a cathartic experience in a way. I mean, David, you got especially paid. Especially now, especially now. I, you know, I think, you know, the current news cycle and everything going on in the world, people are just struggling. And, you know, and I and I, and I think that's okay. It's okay to to struggle. And uh, hopefully the reach that Netflix has, and, and, and you know, because most people that are lucky enough to even make a short, that what do they, they do a festival run, if they're lucky, and then it's like a Vimeo link. <laughs> <laughs> literally right so so you know um having access to what is it 230 million people as we we are sat here today if they so choose have access to this film you know door to door make sure they all watch it <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right